Welcome to Small Press Expo 2011. I'm Joe. That's Rusty on the other end. Hello. And right in the middle, what do we got? Who are you guys? Curl Studio. Curl Studio. curls studiocom That's right. Nice. My name is Joe. And I'm Carolyn Bilevsky. So you guys make comics, right? I mean, am I wrong? I don't want to... <laughs> sorry if they come off accusatory. Yeah. You guys made comics. You guys make comics. I can't believe you. Is that true? Not only do we make comics, but we create. Nice. Woo! It's different than making. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Nothing from me. You get nothing from right. me. All right. All right. Dollar bin. Dollar bin. Dot net. <laughs> can't believe this. Invasion of the show. Invasion. Yes. That's what you happens. That we, have we have three, we have three different podcasts there. invasion right now. Yeah, that's, that's true. We do. <laughs> yeah. It's the biggest crossover ever. But which one is the official interviewers of the Small Press we're, Expo? We're at full that's sanction. This guy. Right we're at full and that sanction. Guy. Right now. Press. <laughs> Curl Studio. Ow. Money in the bank. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> let's get to it. So you guys, you guys make Ooh. comics. I'll do Ooh. it nicely now. Ooh, yes. We create. We do create yes. comics. On purpose. We, we created comics overall. Um, I prefer to call them sequential art. Nice. Why do you prefer to call it that? Because it's so intellectual. I like that. Ah. Impressive. <laughs> like, I like. I that. make graphic I like novels, that. not comics. Really. Yes. I make graphic pictures, and then I make, the teacher took them away. I make manga. Nice! I make, I make then you make money. Yes. <laughs> you get paid. I make manga. What I do is I no. think Japanese when I draw. That's exactly oh. me too. Yeah. Or Asian. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't even do that. I eat, like, uh, say, a donut, and I'm like, I'm eating a bento ball or whatever they call them there. And so, balls. done. <laughs> yeah, right? No. <laughs> Well, yeah, not, I don't know. My well, manga is not authentic. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. You can tell. Yeah. Basically, in, the main in, thing to know is in, that we in, make comics. That's right. In Curl Studio, uh, Carolyn's an illustrator and I write. Um, also, Carolyn has Curl's dominant webcomic comic strip throughout the nation. Wow. <laughs> throughout the nation. It's more than just the nation. People all over the world can read it. If you have an internet connection... You can read my webcomic curls. I like this as like a political, whenever we mean to say something, we look right back at the camera. But it's like, you know what it's like? It's like you guys are two sides of the same coin. Exactly. Yes. Are. What's that coin? What does that mean? What kind of <laughs> coin is it? What denomination? Heads or tails? Well, mm -hmm. Rusty? I'm opening up a big box. <laughs> I'm going to go heads. Wait, which one is heads? That's what we're getting at. I, I, I just, don't want I, head. I'm you know, heads. heads. <laughs> So Curl Studios, anyway, <laughs> you guys make comics, you dominate the world with illustrations and writing. That's right. Anything else you're involved in? I mean, is that it? You're just done. We I mean, also have our podcast, yes, the Carolyn and Joe Show. Carolyn and Joe Show, which is, you know, the, big, the, the biggest feuding, you know, uh, <laughs> podcast with full sanction. Yes. Wow, yeah. We're always, oh. we're always neck and neck on iTunes, right? Uh, we're, we're beefing right now. That's right. Oh, yeah. that's, that's, why, that's why, you know, we're in enemy territory. Yeah, yes. this, this could end like a gang fight. Basically. That's right. Because you got you guys got your gang colors already. Right, we're red. That's yeah, right. oh, <laughs> team red. Oh what? Oh, oh betrayal! Betrayal! Wait Someone has turned heel on me. Look at that. <laughs> Cover them up. <laughs> yeah, but we have the Carolyn and Joe show. Uh, now what? we do that every two week. We do that every Tuesday, or it comes out every Tuesday, and uh, right iTunes. on iTunes and throughout the whoever has internet. Everybody. Um, yeah, everyone. All the world. Yeah, even does. if you don't have it at home, you can go to your local library. Yeah, right. Out. Yes. That's exactly. Uh, yes. Oh, we're over 130, <laughs> over 138 episodes strong. We wow. Not hasn't stopped for that many weeks, so I'm very proud of that. As well. That is something to be proud of. Yes. Um, and then Curls comes out every uh, Monday and Thursday, right? Yes. Monday and Thursday at curls-studio.com/curls. It's really exciting. I like being a producer of this work, and so we can say like almost every day out of the week we put up something on the internet so it's pretty amazing people can always check us out that's impressive so like how long have you all been coming to SBX here hmm. is this your five well I, I volunteered for the first two years um, coming to SPX and I kind of checked out what was going on because I heard about Small Press Expo and I was like this is, sounds like an amazing show because one of my art friends told me about it he was like you need to check this out this is right up your alley so I went and I like instantly gravitated towards the show um, and then I, I, I took a while for me to make a product, and I, I knew I wanted to be here, so I 
volunteered for two years and checked out the scene and then ever since um, I guess we've been exhibiting since 2006 I believe so it's been, it's been pretty time. exciting five, five, time, time, five, five time. time five time five time five time five time champions of or small press expo. <laughs> champion five exhibitors, time exhibitors. <laughs> yeah well, I think that was even more than five times but I love it <laughs> well because you're coming back next year probably that's right so, yeah, yeah. That's we're right. gonna be a six go time, ahead and get that in ahead of time <laughs> What do you like about coming to Small Press Expo? I love actually having the opportunity to meet so many other creators in one giant room and basically um, have new books out every year. And for me, it's exciting to have a new book at each show. Yeah, it's also interesting because, you know, because we do like the, also the bigger shows like Baltimore and like New York. It's interesting when you come to this show that it is more, you know, independent creator centric. It almost feels like you're going back to art school where everyone has like their own new you know, Everybody has like their own project. Everyone and, has that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people still even dress like they're in, <laughs> in art school oh, yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, I think like you're talking about Rusty, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, you're wearing your gang. <laughs> I was gonna say because I don't. You know, I'm very unique. Obviously. <laughs> I do. I like that you still got you got the badge on right now too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You have like the double name tag going on. It, there's so much so much branding going on here. That's right. You're like a NASCAR you know, car. Yeah. <laughs> like a NASCAR. Sponsored by me and me. What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up with you, Rusty? I don't know. Um, how you, how's how's you, your how love are you? life, Rusty? Yeah. Pretty impressive, actually. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Like. Like breaking records, like SBX it. is breaking attendance records. Yes, <laughs> I don't know, attendance records makes you sound like a slut, though. I don't know if I, oh, yeah. like, it sounds like <laughs> yeah. But that's something it reveals proud of. reveals that I'm a slut, yeah. I should say. That's something to be proud of, though, man. I think so. Well, you know, like McDonald's puts their customer count right on the board. Exactly. They do. 10 billion, that's true. 10 billion strong. And counting. Do the same. I need I need a T-shirt where I can like screen print the number on and then change it as a need go. You, so you need <laughs> a T-shirt where you can do that? Yes. Any T-shirt. Leave an open space where I can do it. Yes. But really, what I want to happen is every time you score, like a little ding happens and the number changes. I like that. He says that himself. Yes. Really? Oh, ding! Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting one of those Another pictures one. like they use it to door to count attendance. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, t- t- I feel like this podcast has drifted away from comics. This a little bit. Yeah. I'm, and this is it's not know, podcast. It's until a, we make a comic about it. Our life is so. comics, man. Yeah, our life that's is true. Comic. Yeah, we can make comics about anything. That's yeah. right, man. But that's the greatest thing about Small Press Expo is that it's not necessarily superheroes. And not like I have anything against superheroes, but it's SPX just shows you that you can have a comic book about anything. Your vacation, like a cookbook comic, or how your day was. So it's pretty, yeah. it's pretty amazing to know that comics can be for everybody. Right, Rusty? I agree. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, nice. I'm glad that you agree. <laughs> yes. You're such a voice of agreeing. I am. I, I think like in the future, like next year, when when the since the show's gonna be twice as big now, or you know they're gonna 50% have fifty percent bigger. Yeah, fifty percent, fifty percent bigger. Um, that you should have like your same setup, but the background overlooks like the rest of SPX. Nice. You know what I mean? Like how they have like in sport events where you see the crowd in the background. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We should have our own balcony. Yes. yes. Some type of platform that overlooks the show. SPX Studios. Studios. Man, that would be awesome. Like the critics in the Muppet Show can have like a little yes, corner. Yes, a, a little box. Yeah. So you can be like, <laughs> yeah, I want to Yeah, I would just throw friend. trash at everybody. <laughs> yeah. I think I, you should really push for that, man. That, that, that'd well, be amazing. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm also going to talk to the hotel about building the balcony. Yes. 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 There's going to be like a, a pulley ladder that, uh, or elevator. We're just going to go up. Mm-hmm. Well, we <laughs> mentioned earlier about uh, the idea for the Ignats to have uh, Eden up on high to just throw the bricks at yeah, the winners. Yeah, bricks at the winners. We can incorporate that into the room where we can just toss them at them at the tables. They don't right. even have to so get how up. Is, how is Eden at the Ignaz, man? She rocked that show. Yes. We didn't get into the Ignaz. You, did, you, it was you so were rejected from the Ignaz? We can go that way because it's cooler, but that's not yeah. what happened. <laughs> that's not the... Yeah, we weren't banned. <laughs> no, we were <laughs> almost in the room just and then people started walking back because there was no space. Yeah. Oh, man. It was pretty crowded. Eden yeah. did, they, it, it was, was like a pretty... It was a pretty yeah, it was a rock show, man. It was, it was hot in there. So really, we missed something. We there. missed something special. You always like whenever you. I'm sure someone filmed it. Yeah, like whenever you miss out on the, on Ignats and those awards, you always miss out on something special, like the exclusive announcements. <laughs> you hear. But we, we did have access to the chocolate fountain earlier than everyone else, right? That's right. Yeah, true. That's true. I, yeah, actually, yeah. We were I, like early adopters for the chocolate fountain. Yeah, I was putting. Uh, okay. I wouldn't say poison. I was putting something in the chocolate fountain. Oh. I wouldn't say poison. I wouldn't say poison. I mean, <laughs> like, well, not I'm not a member of the FDA. Yeah, I don't. Not, yeah. Not out loud, I don't know, know if that's classified as poison. Exactly. But it's just not good it's, for you. It's yeah. new, new flavors, you know. Right. Flavors. You injected full sanction. Could have just I had a little bit of mint pain. It was nice. <laughs> it's good. Mint pain. It's really, so, are you gonna stop doing comics now? 
No. You're gonna do comps. No, we're gonna have to be six-time champions next year. That's right. That's true. You you already busted six on mount, so you have to follow up with that. Next yeah. year. Really, the goal was to reach like Ric Flair status, where you're like 16-time right world. <laughs> I think you need to do like a Tajiri effect with the chocolate coat. Just Spin. miss it on somebody? Yeah, like, yeah. like a miss. <laughs> yeah. Triple H just speaks out of water. What we'll do is, like, we'll have the we'll have in the podcast, the interview, whatever, YouTube show, and I'll turn away for a moment, and then I come back. It's like lurking like a And dragon. I just, yeah, I just go, ooh, just like you did. <laughs> and I it's such, it's such a beautiful, mist. a beautiful, a beautiful mist. Well, mist it's going to be chocolate, so I don't know that it's going to be beautiful. Yeah. Can you imagine a, a beautiful chocolate mist that you spit up? I cannot imagine such a thing. Oh. I can. I, I got it right here. Right. I got it right here. I'm thinking. Right I, I missed right chocolate room. on Rusty. <laughs> Rusty's not going to look beautiful at all. I'm going to work up a computer model when we get home to give really? you an idea of how it looks. You know, if I don't see a special, if I can't see it on the computer, I don't understand it. No. <laughs> if it's not on the internet, it's not real. I it, order it, doesn't my, count. <laughs> it doesn't count. In order to exist. tie my shoes, I have to get a webcam on my feet. And I just look at the computer. Okay, I see what's happening. <laughs> That's the way I do things. I can comprehend this. Sort of. I do my best. It's a... But yeah, like SPX is always. I mean, how many times have you guys been to SPX? This is all of them, but one. All of yeah. them, but one. Oh, wow. We started with we the didn't second get to go to the first year because we were a little young. Were, and were you rejected? Teenagers. Actually, you know what? Also, <laughs> I think they had to reach the height requirement. Yeah, I had a problem with the height. They're like, yeah, take a height, kid, kid, kid getting you know, in. Not as high as this. Okay, right. right. I don't know if you've met me. I'm really tall, so that wasn't the case. Okay. <laughs> no, what? You know, actually, the first year it was during the day on a weekday. You want to wear the crown? You want to wear the crown? What? That's right. Joe's a royalty. Yeah. It's owned this. Joe's thing. get crowns. That's how it works around here. Yeah. yeah. Also at the dentist. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's but right. yeah, so we couldn't go the first year. It was during the day, like on a Friday. We couldn't go. We had school. Yeah. Yeah, school? Oh, We're that's teenagers. Was on a Friday. That's back then. The first yeah. day was on a Friday. Oh, man. During the day. Next year we went, never missed a year since. Nope. Because, that, because what if you went to that first one and you're like, ah, oh, enough of this? It would have never, we wouldn't be here today. If we had gone to that first one, first of all, we'd be what, 15 time champions, which is better yes. than what you guys are. I know. That's right. Second of I all, know. we would be on top of the game now because we would have started all of our movements one year earlier. That's yeah. right. You get, you get your rap, your rap head, and you know, that's that's what it's all about. You're getting to sell properly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you guys have any like awesome pitches like when whenever you were exhibit, like, you know? Yes, here's what our pitch was <laughs> they're only that? a dollar. Right. Hi. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. How about it? Okay, yeah. Hi, right, we're here. Right, oh. Well. What do you, what, what's, right. what's happening? What's I don't know what's happening. You need, you need one piece uh -huh. of paper? This is great. Uh, if you can hold on one sec, folks. <laughs> Everybody, look at Rusty's butt. Look at Rusty oh. as we, Rusty here is, what are you doing, Rusty? I'm getting a piece of paper. What's uh, What's important about this paper? Uh, is this the one? We're, fantastic. We're yes. Thanks. Thank I am the official notepad supplier of Marriott. The All Marriott right. Corporation. Yes. So yeah, I, you know, we would have done everything a year sooner. We would have been on top of the game. We would have been interviewing people before, you know, before internet really. Yeah. yeah. You could have actually founded it. You uh, went to that very first SPS. I told Rusty we should have gone that first year. <laughs> He was like, I, I want to go to school. I got to learn about stuff. I got to take a test. Yeah. yeah. Rusty never on. left school. <clears throat> Rusty actually never left the school because his home life was so terrible. Yes. I would just sleep under my desk every night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had those desks that opened up and I would just crawl inside and close it every time. You are you are a tiny bundle of uh, home pain. Yeah, I'm like a sad little stray cat. Yeah. Yeah. Man, guys, I see so much so much inspiration to write great books here. Right. From full Look how just far by Rusty's Rusty, come. Just by Rusty yeah. alone. Just he doesn't eat out of the trash anymore. Do you, do you have Do you have like a, a younger picture of you so we can compare and contrast? I do somewhere. Yeah, there's one we have it. It's on a milk carton. It's a milk carton. <laughs> there's what? On a milk carton. Yes. <laughs> That's I mean, my we also got one child. of those flyers. Where it's Rusty that was my first child. promo image. And then like the age modified version of Rusty as an adult. So we have those two. Yeah. We have wallet size versions. That's the of best those. is to compare like what they thought I would look like then to what I look like now. If we find Rusty, he'll look like this. See, this is what SPX is all about, man. You get these amazing stories. It's just not about Batman or Aquaman stuff like that. It's about no. Rusty. Batman never slept in the desk. No. Batman didn't save you. <laughs> no. Screw that. No. Ice cream man saved you. We tried to save you. Ice cream you. man? Yeah. Ice cream man saved you. That was a bad day. Yeah. Wait he, a minute. Ice Cream Man saved, like the guy like in the truck saved you? Well, he said he was trying to save me. And, uh, he tried to be a Rusty after school. Yeah. He picked you up? Ah. Dude, that's right. I don't know if that's 
That leads to it. It wasn't. <laughs> it was. It was. Did, did, did he bribe you with the WWE ice cream bars? No. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, actually. Oh, they, but they had, like, the, that, yeah, those they had, like, like the, the candy eyes and stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. I would have done it. You would have been there. I'd have gone. You'd be like, give me two of them, I'm set. Come on, yeah. Mr. Ice Cream Man, let's do it. Then you, you, you get in and you just get this like, over with, give me my TMNT yeah. ice cream. Would someone need to get a collection of the uh, Ice Cream Man music that they play across the country? Yeah. <laughs> I actually have them all on my iPod. Show. That's oh, all I listen yeah. to nowadays, Ice Cream Man music. <laughs> your compilation. Yeah, that's how I get hyped for doing interviews. You like, you like raise it up like in your car like it's a rap song? Yeah. <laughs> just like, Turn on my hydraulics. Yeah. It's a cross between do I like ice cream man music more or carnival themes? That'd be hmm. the greatest thing, man. The one that you were singing was kind of a combination. It was carnival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carnival with ice cream. What is then? How is the ice cream man song? song? Like this. What? Yeah. Is this from the hood? It's a I mean, bad. He, you know, wasn't it? Are you from? It are you guys from the, are you yeah, guys from he the did hood? just like open his trunk and yeah. sell ice cream. He didn't really have a trunk. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Like it was like stuff. a, it was like a Buick. What is this uh, it was a Buick. Like it wasn't a. It was a Le Saber. Yeah, it was. It was an ice cream truck. Yes. It was just a black Le Saber. Hey, the, the ice cream Le Saber is coming ice, down the street. Yo, I'm the ice cream man. Hey, it was the ice cream Le Saber. <laughs> so you know what? Since it's the Small Press Expo, yes. tell us about your techniques. Since it's the Small Press Expo. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't care. <laughs> Tell me about your technique. Technique towards what? I don't know. Art? Fine. Making comics. <laughs> making so, comics. So, Carolyn, what is your technique towards making Thanks, comics? Thanks, Joe. I'm done. I didn't want to do this anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> Why did you re-emphasize the question? Okay. Um, He's a basically, host. When we, when we make comics, we want to entertain people. And we want to say to them, this story is worth your time. So I think that with art and story combined and words and pictures combined, You've got to mold them together to make the best product possible, the most entertaining product, and on top of that, we have characters that appear in several different stories, several different story arcs together, and I feel like with that, it makes you want to read more of the books, you know? Like, you can't just read one. you got to read more than one. you got to catch them all. you got to yes. catch them all. Collect them all. They're like, like Pokemon. printed Pokemon. Pokey comics. Exactly. Pokey comics. But our books are nothing like that. We, do, yeah. we, we write a lot about crime. I mean, his manga is, but they're actually <laughs> yeah. That's the difference. That's the manga he does. Joe, tell them about our books. Well, I mean, uh, one of our main one of our main books is Black Magic Tales. It's basically a story about two career criminals. They're trying to make the whole world happy, but with crime. And then we have the Legettes. It's a sci-fi action adventure story about a group of burlesque dancers in the future that are chosen to save the universe. And then a very special, you know, like an after-school special style story, is Kid Roxy in which we took those same exact career criminals and stuck them in high school. So it's about a girl who meets a troublemaker. It's all a bunch of fun. I like I like, it's like a good time gumbo. It's like, you know, I, you know gumbo. I'm a big fan of like Animaniacs and I like Bonnie and Clyde and Crime. I wanted to mix those two together. Yeah, Boom. I had a nightmare like that once. Yeah, but so it was good though. It was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah remember, I had to go to therapy. Remember in Animaniacs where they had like, uh, did you guys watch Animaniacs? Yes. yes. Remember they had one segment that was like, good idea, bad idea. Yes. Yeah. That was the best thing ever. I learned a lot from those. Exactly. Yeah. Life lessons. Life lessons, man. I think that's a good way to end this. And life that's lessons. It, yeah. Curl Studio is giving you life lessons. Comic lessons. Every Monday lessons. and Thursday. Every Monday and, and Thursday. Tuesdays and Tuesdays. And Tuesdays. Podcast. Every single day. So basically, you got to get through the rest of the week on your own. Your, yeah, you're gonna learn something almost every day. That's right. That's At what we try. Point, last year, I did do Sketch Before Sleep, where I did an illustration every night for 365 days. Yeah, that was right. a lot. <laughs> so I did provide a full year worth of content in addition to doing the web comic and the podcast. So I mean, it is possible to provide something to the public every day for two years. That's right. <laughs> I agree. Don't Rusty give up agrees. hope. Don't That's give right. up hope, Rusty. Yes. Rusty basically <laughs> lives the life of a human flea market. I do. So he's just, that's what he does. One truck flea market as we <laughs> The one, one truck flea market. truck flea market. Set your uh, table up, sell your shit, that's it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Yeah, man. Speaking to us you know, on our show. Yes. It was a pleasure. We'll have to do it again. Well, we're probably going to, nah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll see, I guess. Yes. We'll see how the ratings are. See what happens when you, you come over to our territory. It's kind of intimidating. But... Yeah. You can go first. Okay, go cool. First. That'll, that'll work. So thanks again. Let's, do, let's say goodbye to everybody. Let's do an yeah. official goodbye. Meat fest. Meat fest. Bye. Bye. That was beautiful. That was good. That was really nice. That's a good conversation. We're good?